Hello and welcome back everyone to our, I believe this is the 18th episode in our Korea Let's Play for the Chosen One achievement. My name is Sneaky Bard and we are nearing the time when we can finally finalize the conquest of Japan here. So this will probably happen in this episode since our truce runs out in three years. Uh, we are also incorporating uh, Yamana into our country. Russia is slowly getting closer to us. Yes, now they do share uh, borders with us. So they will slowly start to give us their institutions, I hope. Let's see. Has the institution spread already registered? Yes, it has. Great, great, great. So we can start using our money that we are saving up to just power through these institutions. And then, can we? No, crap. Russia does hate us, though. So we. Why do they hate us? Do they have a mission? They have a mission to conquer Finland, but I guess that they view a lot of our lands here along Lake Baikal as either necessary or strategic for them. So, who could we select as rivals? We can select Ayutthaya. Let's do that. Or we could select Oirat. We don't want to select Oirat though, so that is something that we we will hope that being under the influence of Ming is enough to deter Russia and we can stabilize our relationship with Russia uh, during the time that we conquer Ming. So this is going to be a tightrope walk here. But we we will get through it somehow. There's also some really interesting allies that we can look at in the form of Jampur. I mean obviously now they're a bit too far away for us to consider as allies but we will get there. I mean Jampur is for instance here saying oh only 67 um, reasons not to become your ally so I will put myself as being friendly with them. And can we actually, uh, yeah, we could start probably fabricating on Pasai, or we will lose ducats. We get money from some friends. Yeah, so what we will do here is we will move you here, and we will build we can't build more um, transports so we will just tell the guy in charge of the this army that we want to move them with the transports here how much money are we making making quite a bit of money let's up that like to that level so in case there are natives rising up because our army um, lands on that province we can still defeat them we have 33 men in that army so let's put them on Yehe that way they don't suffer attrition how's Ming's army size looking I mean I guess it can only grow yeah it's not growing by that much oh we need to bump up stability apparently we want Oirat, we want Daibiet, not the best queen concert, but it happens. Wuzang, can we marry you? No, but we can marry Sarig Yogir. So let's fabricate the claim that we lost on Satake and recall this diplomat okay Russia doesn't completely hate us anymore but they are hostile oh and they've gotten a von Habsburg on their throne this could get interesting there Imagawa and separatists so yeah now we do want to actually Put up our army maintenance. 
so we can deal with them let's put and we have a subpar air on our throne how lovely so let's do this and no we're not paying anything for corruption and here let's build spy network on Pasai because next step is to just can we conquer all of Pasai at once not quite they're a bit too too advanced for that we could get something like this here and Yohor we do want Yohor would be annoying yeah probably these islands as well and then Yohor because if we don't take Yoho, that will just be annoying. Let's also send our fleet here. Yeah, sure, Yamana. Let's let's give you a royal marriage. Okay. And is that truce up soon? Um, admin points or money? Admin points. Can we pay our way into something like feudalism? Not quite. Soon ish, but not quite. We can get more states though. So here. Let's see. Which states give us the most money? It gives us half a ducat. Almost an entire ducat. One ducat. 25. For Northern Kyushu. Not that much. One ducat. One for Tohoku. So Northern Kyushu and Tohoku definitely. East. Blah blah blah. Okay. Western countries. One ducat something as well. Yeah, Taiwan is also quite good. Nope, not there. Eastern Kanto isn't good. Alright. Outer Mongolia. Yeah, let's put you. Because you don't even cost us anything. In points. Nothing to Irkutsk. Chubo, no. You only gave us half a ducat. No, I mean, you probably wouldn't cost us anything either. Alright. So let's make us into these into cores. Who wants more land? The clergy wants more land. So, clergy, can we give you something that just won? Yeah, we can there. Good, problem solved. Alright then. Our claims can be fabricated on Pasai. There's a bunch of claims that we can get. Just take something like Yambi. Lose that one prestige. How's the army situation looking? We can get two more peeps into the army. 
not worth worrying about just yet. No need to uh, actually downgrade our uh, autonomy. We're going to lose money here, but that is just the way things are. We will declare war on Hosokawa and just finish this conquest off. At the same time, we will also core stuff. There. Asukawa, it's time to die. What? Are you telling us we have no no claims on you? Oh yeah, because we can actually make those claims. Alright, let's get Hitachi and whatever. And then let's just go here. opinion Russia's opinion I care more about Russia's opinion at the moment let's kill the army there oh they're quite strong apparently Yamana pretender rebels great not the best thing that could have happened to us there. Okay, we've gotten Kyoto. Let's, while we're at it, just get a general there. Let's lose prestige. Okay. And remember to core stuff. Oh, we cannot make them into cores. There we go. Alright. They have both higher discipline and tactics compared to us. But we still managed to defeat them, which was good. Now, let's get rid of them there. Nice. Uh, yes, we do want the merchants to up the taxes there. And now let's go help in that siege. Russia. Oh, you like us now. And if you weren't in a war, we could actually get you as an ally. So let's finish up this war super, super quickly. Because I do, do want Russia as an ally. We will do everything we can to get Russia as an ally. Especially against the hated Ming. So we can do this. Well, marriage with the Orat died. Yes, yeah, sure. Except. Uh, come on. Yay, we get Diplo power. Okay, good. We've gotten everything we wanted. Come on, give me that last bit. Give me money, and let's get rid of all of your claims on my land. There, oh, there was an event that I forgot to read. That's what happens when you play too quickly. We will get rid of this fort here, I think. Yeah, they're they're exactly the same. So there. Let's also 
But yeah, it, uh, mothballed the forts. But yeah, the f the um, event was probably just Japan will prevail. Blah blah blah. Because we took Kyoto. All right, Russia. How about that alliance? There we go. Ta-da! Let's also give you military access. Uh, no, we do want the... Yeah, we can let harmonization go down a bit. We don't want the monthly autonomy to tick. I'll go up by quick jumps like that. Alright. Now everything will be cored. Round marriage with the Oirat. Done. What is... I think it's Oirat Pretender Rebels. There we go. And how quickly are we getting uh, favors with you? Every two years. That, that's a okay, okay place. Oh, we we did lose some advisors. So let's get production efficiency and discipline. All right, good. Do we want to divorce her? No. Let's just eat the revolt risk. I mean, nothing bad's going to happen. Oh, even more revolt risk. Well, let's do that. A vernacular novel about a well-known story from Go from the Go Goguryeo Goguryeo era is rapidly gaining popularity among our subjects. This is in itself not a problem, but it has come to our attention that this novelization is in fact breaking c central tenets of Confucian ideology, ideology as it could be seen as an argument for disobeying central authority and the king. Our administrators now argue that the book must be banned, though some fear this will only make it more alluring to those that wish to read it. Let's ban it. What could possibly go wrong? Alright. Okay, we can finally get the... Um, Diplotech. Ooh, do we want prestige? Yeah, we want Utsang's opinion. The Ming Sphere. As a part of the Ming Tributary Sphere, we are increasingly becoming part of the wider Ming culture world. The Jung high language can be heard in the streets and in the high halls of Hansung. There's growing awareness of a country in the Empire of Ming. Good way to make new faraway friends. Our neighbors will be impressed. Yeah, we don't care about Pasai. We care about Utsang. Tea imports. Let's go with mercantilism as always. Mercantilism, not mercantilism, but mercantilism. It's not a meerkat after all. Or is it a meerkat? I think it's pronounced meerkat. Oh! Rush Oirat! In the Russian conquest of. This is a defensive war. Yes, yeah, sorry, Oirat. Russia is far more important to me than you are. Even though we are like loyal allies since God knows when. Sorry, Russia is just way more important. Okay, our annexation is going forward, albeit slowly, because we just lost a chunk of Diplo rep for doing that. What 
religion are you? You're still Buddhist. Kyoto is part of our patrimony. Let's just maintain that diplomat there for a while. Alright, that is the timer, so this is part of the episode, and just in time for us to have harmonized the Shinto faith. So I will just read this, and then call it an episode. The Japanese have over time come to incorporate both the traditions of Confucius and Buddha into their own old Shinto faith, taking what they feel was the most true and best serving parts of the foreign teachings and making it their own. In many ways, this has in turn made their religion easier to incorporate and harmonize with the ideology of Korea. As time goes by, the Shinto identity becomes less and less of an issue and Shinto followers can be found high and low in Korean society, forming a new group within our complex government apparatus that an outsider would have a very hard time distinguishing from our own. Submit the purple of virtue, assimilate the purple with enlightenment. So, until the end of the game, we get 5% more infantry combat ability. Alright, that was it for this episode. So, thank you for watching. As always, I've been Sneaky Bard, and if you do like the episode, do like it. And if you like the channel, then do subscribe and do also spread the word on Twitter, any social media platform that you use, and where you know that people who might want to watch EU4 Let's Plays or just RPG, Stealth, MMO Let's Plays uh, gather. That's all appreciated. I will see you in the next episode, so bye bye for now.